There is nothing quite like skiing in the mountains. The connection to the natural world whilst gliding over fresh powder. There are just over 2,000 alpine ski resorts in the world. And during the 2020 and 2021 ski season, 59 million people visited ski resorts in the US alone. Skiing is a globally loved activity. Safe, secure access to these mountain slopes every day of the season is in part due to the heroic work of these people. Ski patrollers are responsible for the safety of all the skiers on the mountain. Before the typical skier even gets out of bed, they are hard at work. They have everything you could think of on the mountain, equipped to undertake any form of rescue. Along with avalanche assessments and weather forecasts. It's been described by some as the best job in the world, but for a lot of ski patrollers, it's much more than a job. It's a way of life. So what does an average day look like? And what is it about being a ski patroller that they enjoy so much that it transcends their job? In Fernie, BC, locals see the patrollers as fellow skiers, partners, and friends. The ones that you can count on through thick and thin. Trusted ski patrollers like Justin Coetz. Our regular day, we start a little bit later in the day. Regular starts happen when we haven't had any recent snow and we don't need to do any kind of avalanche control work in the mornings. We're kind of in status quo mode. We get up, we do run checks, we check our first aid gear, we attend first aid calls as they happen throughout the day. What part of ski patrolling is really desirable for me? It's the snow science, it's the avalanches, it's the mountain safety. I love skiing, so you know when I can be out in the field on my skis doing control work, um, I'm always really happy. In the Chamonix region of France, Johan Vinny has worked as a ski patroller and a mountain guide for the past 13 years. Ski patrol for me is that it's very special. I like to help people. Uh, we are in mountain, it's very simple. There is difficulty, okay, I can help you. We do that, I can't, okay. I call other colleagues, we find a solution. In the northernmost region of Finland, following in the footsteps of her grandfather, who was a pioneer in developing mountain safety in Scandinavia, Ida Katiyama has been working as a ski patroller since 2018. Safety aspect comes from there, and then my dad was working as a ski instructor. Typical day as a ski patroller would be going up and checking through all the slopes and assessing all the risks in the slopes. I would say customer service is a huge part of the job. People really often stop you in the slope and they have questions. And I have a feeling that many, many customers really appreciate it, that there are people looking after them and not only like helping them when something happens, but more preventing these injuries from happening. The customer service aspect, I really get the most kicks from that. <laughs> And back at the Fernie Alpine Resort in Canada, Kevin Giffen is in his 18th season as a ski patroller. One of Kevin's favorite tasks and an important part about being a ski patroller is avalanche control. I don't know if it's because there's like that danger aspect to it, but when you're doing it, it is very controlled. We've got tons of procedures and protocols in place and 50 years of avalanche control work in history done at our resort. So over all those years, you're always refining and, and fine tuning what you're doing. And yes, it can be dangerous. And I think that maybe the first sort of appeal to it, but it is very controlled. But when you can predict the problem and you're right and you're able to mitigate it and then open that train and then see all those people enjoying all that snow, then, you know, you've done something special that day. All ski patrollers understand the importance of teamwork, whether it's working together to get an injured skier off the mountain to allowing safe access to the wild terrain within the resort. And this seems to be a common theme across the ski patroller community. It would be impossible for ski patrollers to work without close contact. We're all aware of uh, possible risks. The group of people that I work with um, really make 
the job what it is. It's what drew me in, you know, these are my people. You've got people that have worked on that team for 30 years and people that are in their first year. So you've got a very big range of uh, skill levels and skill sets. So many stories, there's always a lesson to be learned. When you have people that have been around for so long, they can pass on all that knowledge to the newer, younger patrollers. That's a really important part of the job too. Your life is sort of in their hands a little bit. I would say confidence is always very high with the with the team that I work with in Fernie. And such an important job comes with a lot of fulfillment. So it's uh, skiing, human relationships, and rescue to be in the mountain for work was a dream. You can be super proud of making a difference in the slopes and knowing that it's actually helping a lot of people. Getting to ski every day at work obviously is a huge benefit. I also think the fulfilling part of the job can be as simple as just helping someone out and put a smile on their face and that's, I think, when the job is, you know, the most fulfilling. I've loved skiing this mountain since I was young and being able to share the love of skiing with the public. To be part of the team that can continue to offer excellent skiing in that train, I just, I love that. I love seeing people stoked to ski powder. That's everything. So next time you're skiing and you see the cross of a ski patroller, say hello and share your appreciation for the incredible work they all do in keeping us safe on the mountains.